I think I might have too much stuff. I gotta stop making these videos where I just buy the first slightly interesting piece of garbage I see advertised on the internet. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Or this? I spent like $200 on this tracksuit and I literally only use it to muffle the sound coming from my room when I'm yelling at Fortnite at 2 a.m. Where did you go? I'm getting shot. Just because I have a lot of fun making these videos and people seem to really like watching these videos and it's my favorite series to do on my channel doesn't mean I should keep doing it. Oh my God. <laughs> I gotta buy this. Hey guys, welcome back to Mr. Megorium's Wonder Emporium. So as it turns out, the man cave sign that I was really excited about in my last video flashes at all times, and that's gonna be really distracting. So I'm gonna have to turn that off. There's a fun game I've started playing that you too can play if you wanna fuck with the advertisers a little bit. Instead of ignoring an ad for a product that you don't want, uh, click on it. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but hear me out. You're gonna wanna scroll around for a bit, just maybe 10, 20 seconds, enough to establish a presence there, and then exit out of the ad and go about your day. The algorithm is going to make note of that and they're gonna show that ad to you again. Don't be alarmed. This is all part of the plan. Next time you see it, you're gonna wanna repeat steps one and two until you get the ad for a third time and do the same thing, so on and so forth forever. Now it's important that you never actually buy anything from the website. That is not the point of what we're trying to do here. What we're trying to do is get this company to waste their entire ad budget on you without ever getting a sale in return. It's the perfect prank. But unfortunately, this is not a series about getting advertisers to waste their money. It's about me wasting my money for your entertainment, so let's start. I'm gonna show these to you in order of most promising to most confusing. First up is the Cozy Band. I love relaxing in bed with my Cozy Band headphones. They're perfect for Netflix, music, podcasts, meditations, white- Not gonna lie, this is very intriguing to me. I've noticed I fall asleep much faster if I'm listening to music, and obviously I can't just blast some speakers right next to a bed that I share. And it also kind of hurts to wear my giant headphones to bed, unless I'm laying face down. But every time I do that, I suffocate and die. But this thing, I can just have on my head. It even doubles as an eye mask. To be fair, yeah, you technically could just do this, with regular headphones, but I know if I did, I wouldn't be able to go to sleep because I'd be distracted thinking about how cool I look. Not really much else to this. It's kind of on the cheap side, which actually worries me. I know that sounds weird. Obviously, if something ends up sucking, I'd rather have not spent a lot of money on it, but uh, now I'm just expecting these headphones to sound like shit, so we'll see. Another thing I'm genuinely curious to try is this garlic ejector. You don't have to peel your garlic. You don't have to chop it, nothing. It scrapes itself clean, which is crazy and then it pings away the peel, all in one go. You don't have to touch your garlic at all. Peeling and mincing one little clove of garlic is the most annoying detour to have to take while cooking. It's not the cutting part I dislike, it's the stickiness of the garlic. It gets all over your fingers and now you gotta wash your hands again even though you already did. Hopefully, please tell me you washed your hands. But maybe the Garject tool from dreamfarm.com is the answer to all my problems. Normally I would be put off by the odd font choices they've made here, a font that I can only describe as Comic Sans trying to clean up his act. But after seeing so many websites in the series that all look the same, this is actually kind of a nice change of pace. I guess you gotta be a little silly when you have a product called Brizzle, or a Flisk, or a Mini Sapoon. Am I having a stroke? I'm having a hard time telling the difference between the regular and the light version other than the price. So I guess I'll just buy the cheaper one. Sorry, Dream Farm, you gotta make the premium version look more enticing. Now, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm something of a content creator. <laughs> I like to make videos on the internet and then do nothing for three weeks. But maybe the thing I need to help boost my productivity is a little tripod that follows me around. <laughs> that way I don't have to sit down and set up my camera. I can just be passively recording myself at all times. I can be washing dishes here in the sink, checking on my pie crust, opening the oven, blending in my blender, tying my shoes, petting my cat, getting scratched by my 
cat, berating my cat. Make an impression, build a following. You know, I don't think they can guarantee that. You're not definitely gonna get famous just because you bought a spinning tripod. Again, I'm gonna buy the light version because just like with the garlic thing, they've done nothing to entice me to buy the expensive one. Nano bag, a bag inside a bag. That's because as spacious as the sling is, sometimes you go a little too overboard with souvenirs. And once you pop this open and allow it to reach its full potential, you've now got a whole grocery bag worth of additional space. I don't really have a joke for this one. It's a little bag. I just, that's, that's all it is. I'm just curious to see it. It's gotta be thin as hell in order for it to get that tiny. And I have a feeling it's going to break at the worst possible time. Not that there's a good time for a bag to break, but I just know the moment I start lugging around four gallons of loose milk, that thing it's tearing in half. I'll let this next one speak for itself. I'll say it. That looks pretty good. I wonder what other kind of slushies he's made. When I say this cup can turn literally anything into a slushy, I mean it. Oh no. Just pour and squeeze for less than 60 seconds. No, don't do that. Comment what else you think can't turn into a slushy. Come on, didn't we already learn our lesson with Tide Pods? You're not supposed to make it look delicious. My name Jeff. We already sent you to free slushy cups. I wanted four. Does he do his shit? I'm not sure I understood any part of that conversation, but they did make ice pretty fast, so that's cool. Okay, but so far they've made my two favorite flavors of slushy laundry detergent and water. Yum, let's check out their website. We're about to enter the hottest season of the year and you need to make sure that your body's taken care of. Not only do slushes taste amazing, but frozen drinks are proven to be beneficial to our health. You know, I don't think I'm gonna take health advice from the guy who did this. Also, you got a reference for that? Like a data you could show me? Or am I just gonna have to take your word for it? Is cold drinks good for health? Oh. <laughs> Kind of seems like the opposite is true. Okay, well that, they're talking about like soda, and so obviously soda's bad for you. Frozen drinks, good for health. Cold water impacts digestion. What is this like science meme website? Who is this for? Well, I Googled it for 30 seconds and the results are inconclusive. So maybe I'll just read the reviews. I took it for my daughter. She is happy in principle, a cool thing. All right, well, I'm so. Is that Instagrams? My upright vibrates every time I slouch. Immediately, great start to an ad. Is that Instagrams? Uh-huh. Yeah, I taped a photo sharing website to my back. Which trains my brain to sit up straight. Finally, he's using his brain. Now, I love me a good silly ad. This is pretty solid marketing, especially for such a bizarre looking product. But they do make a lot of promises in a short period of time. So now I can focus on my work instead of my posture. It saves me money. You always wanted to be two inches taller, right? So I'm gonna get more work done, I'll save money on my chiropractor, and I'll get taller by using this. That's a lot of benefits for $76. That guy who spent like a hundred grand on limb lengthening surgery is gonna be pissed when he finds out about this. Okay, so there's one last product I found that I have no intention of buying because um, even though my scam detectors were off the charts, I'm pretty sure it's going to burn my house down. But I wanna show this to you because it's actually one of the most bizarre ads I've ever seen. You know what, actually it's over five minutes long. I'm just gonna sum it up. So this guy, Alan Jackson, is one of the most accomplished students at MIT. He invented something, which they take forever to even explain what it is. And the biggest power companies in America tried to buy it from him for a million dollars so they could shut it down. But he said no, he's a man of the people. You see, Alan was blessed with an IQ of 150, a made up number that doesn't actually mean you're gonna be more likely to invent something, but <laughs> go off. He discovered that more power was flowing through their house than they needed and they were spending all this extra money. So he creates a thing that like gets it to stop doing that. And then he tests out his prototype and it's so successful that according to this image, the power bill was a negative number. This device is so efficient that the electric company owed him money. Three minutes in, they finally explain what this thing does. You plug it into 
any power outlet in your house and it saves you $300 a month. So that all sounds great, I guess. But I did a little bit of research and I'm pretty sure none of that is real. <laughs> Alan Jackson, the genius MIT student, Totally made up. You'd think there would be even one article about this 19 year old whiz kid who's literally cutting people's power bills in half. But the only notable Alan Jackson I could find is a 63 year old country singer. Hoochie, hoochie. They also used a quote from Tech Daily Magazine who I found on Instagram. They have zero followers and haven't posted in 15 months. So maybe this is a quote straight from their website. Well, they also haven't updated that since last year. And you're not gonna believe this, but PowerSafe isn't even trademarked, at least not by Alan. He would not have even been born yet when this was registered in 1994. So I guess my question is, who the hell is this kid? They have all this footage of, is this like a YouTuber they found? Or is this just more stock footage? I mean, they certainly got their money's worth from their Storyblock subscription. I'm pretty sure they used their entire library in this ad. But whoever it is, I would love to find him and bring this to his attention. So if you recognize this man, um, let me know. So to summarize, the inventor's not real, his backstory's not real, and the product is clearly just a piece of crap that's either extremely useless or, worst case, extremely dangerous. But like, you can do that? You can just resell some cheap bullshit you found on AliExpress and make up an entirely fake narrative to go along with it? Don't mind if- So the way I make these videos now is every time I see something that is interesting to me and I know I'm gonna make a video about it, I just buy it that day. So some of these things arrived a week ago. Others have been sitting in my closet for like two months. In other words, I've been looking forward to this day for a very long time. Definitely the first thing I wanna open is the posture corrector. The sooner I start using that, the better. They said that sweet old lady from the commercial is two inches taller now, but with my slouch, I'm thinking I could go like half a foot. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, this is the Upright Go 2. They worked out all the kinks from the first one. I don't know what those kinks might have been. Maybe it shocked you too hard. Yep, see this one says gentle vibration feedback. Definitely it was too harsh before. You can track your posture from day to day. You can have daily goals. Um, I assume the goal would just be to have good posture every day. This box is very reminiscent of opening up an iPhone for the first time, only way more disappointing. So this comes with, it looks like about 10 pieces of tape and then a few alcohol prep pads. You know, gotta disinfect your back before you put this on. Comes with a little guitar pick. How fun. I mean, technically it says adhesive removal tool, but I could strum a few chords with this. So I think I can just put it on now. I hope it's charged. Am I gonna have to charge it while it's on my back? I don't even know how to film this. It's hard enough to put this on by myself. There's a button on it. I accidentally hit a button. I hope that's not self-destruct mode. What's your main posture goal? For it to be better? I'm in this purely for vanity. I'm just trying to look better. Turn on your go. No, I can't. I can't see it. I hope it's blinking. I put it on way too early. Sorry, I gotta update it first. I think the new season just came out. Should I buy the battle pass? Now let's learn how to place the go on your back. Well, I already did it, so. Attaches, uh-huh. Make sure your upper back is clean and dry. Now peel off the green cover. Okay, I already... What the fuck? Dude, this thing will just randomly go back like five steps. Is it because I'm clicking too fast? And it's like, nope, you're not comprehending. You're gonna have to start over. Great. Okay. Did the app crash or... I think I broke the app by trying to use it. What is happening? It's just stuck on this black screen. And every time I exit out, 
it's still on the black screen. What if my posture is just so bad that the app took one look at me and was like, yeah, dude, there's nothing we can do here, sorry. This guy is a lost cause. It's not my fault that puberty gave me scoliosis. That moment when your posture app crashes, so you have to restart your phone. All right, let's fucking go, dude. I'm so pumped for this shit. I don't even know what to do. All right, last resort. I am going to delete the app, and I'm going to download it again. I'm having a great time. This is the best day of my life. Let's learn how to place it on your back. More on adhesive. Yeah, can you tell me how tape works, please? Jesus Christ. Okay, should I watch the video? I'll watch the video this time. I think they got mad that I didn't watch their video there, man. Plant your feet on the ground so your knees form a 90 degree angle. Now straighten up and imagine there's a string pulling you up. Next, pull your shoulders back slightly. Being upright should feel comfortable. Lastly, relax. And don't forget to breathe. Let's start by saying hello to your avatar. Every day you get a daily uptime goal. Fill up this ring to complete your daily goal. Okay, yeah. My goal is an hour a day. That doesn't seem that, like, it doesn't seem like that much. Like, I feel like if I'm slouching for every other hour of the day, I'm not doing a good job. <laughs> All right, let's see. Four, three, two, one. Ah. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. It still scared me. It doesn't just buzz once to let you know that you're fucking up. It keeps going until you correct it. Cool. Well, the battery life is already 50%. Um, I, I'm curious to see how long it lasts. But other than that, I guess I can just go about the rest of my day and check in on this when I need to. This is definitely the nano bag because it is microscopic. Oh, that's right. I got two. They just gave me an, a free one at the end. This is the regular one. And this is the mini. As you can see, there's a pretty massive difference there. This is probably a quarter of an inch taller. I feel like it's gonna be really hard to fold it up the perfect size and get it back in here. Have you ever taken a cover off of a beanbag chair, washed it, and then tried to put it back on? It's a nightmare. And I'm gonna have to do this every time I go shopping? Mm, I don't know about that. Okay, it's going in. No, this is, this is pretty cool. Maybe I'll just leave the handle out, so. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, it's gonna take some getting used to. For the next six days, I wore my upright everywhere I went. I wore it to Best Buy. I wore it to a thrift shop. I wore it to Curtis Connors' stand-up show. Because good posture takes no days off. I treated it like a boot camp. When the battery died, I just plugged it in and kept on going. And whenever my back would vibrate, I would punish myself by doing 50 push-ups. Uh, unfortunately, it would think that I was still slouching while doing the push-ups, so then I would have to do even more. It was sort of this endless cycle of just, I probably did thousands of push-ups yesterday. Long story short, my arms are very tired. So this thing definitely gets in your head about how you're sitting. There's so many things you do every day that you don't even realize that you slouch during, but that also um, arguably don't really matter that you're slouching. Like every day. When I eat my lunch and I'm leaning over to eat my food, this thing screams at me, no, 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 that's not how you're supposed to sit. You're supposed to sit up straight. God forbid I bend over a little bit. And then the opposite of eating, which is of course going to the bathroom, upright does not like that. Back must be pressed against the toilet at all times. This is how you poop. Although it took me like, three days to stop thinking that I was getting a text every time it buzzed. My shirt would randomly start vibrating and I would be like, wait, is that Instagram? I very quickly had to raise the delay from 15 to 30 seconds because it was driving me crazy. The constant buzzing whenever you're so much as reading an email is I think more annoying than helpful. I think it was also a good idea to turn off the device while I was doing an activity that I knew I would have to slouch during. Like if I know I'm gonna be leaning over my stove for half an hour, I don't want my back vibrating at me every five seconds because I had the audacity to look down at what I was doing. I don't think I would feel comfortable saying saying that this is worth $76. But if I were to ignore the cost and just look at it objectively, I think it did have a slightly positive impact on me. At the very least, it gets me thinking about my posture. Um, and if I'm able to transform that into more of a subconscious thought, and that's what it takes to finally fix my gamer boy slouch, then, you know, so be it. Um, did someone say bag test? I did. It was me. In an effort to review the most utilitarian product in an interesting way, I'm just gonna 
uh, keep putting a bunch of stuff in it until it breaks. Don't worry though, if it does break, no harm will be done because I'm gonna do the test above my very soft and very big beanbag chair. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think I was talking about you? Hell no. You're not soft. You're not big. If I dropped my valuable possessions on top of you, they would all break. So anyway, uh, let's get started. The website says it holds up to 66 pounds, but I think they're talking about the regular version. This is the mini, I assume it would hold less than that. Um, I have like 55 pounds worth of weight, so we'll see if it can um, do all that. The best part is I didn't spend any money on this, so if it does break, that's okay. It was free. 17 pounds. So far, so good. This will be 27 pounds. 37 pounds. Okay. So if I were just doing this test in my regular life, I would stop here because I can't imagine myself ever needing to carry more than this. If I did, I would just take more bags. But this isn't real life. This is a YouTube video. So yeah, I'm gonna do all the weights. If it'll fit. 55 pounds. Um, I'm not stalling because it's gonna be difficult for me to lift this up at this angle. I guess I could stand on the bean bag, but then if it drops, it's gonna drop on my foot and I might like break my foot and I don't wanna do that. You gotta be real careful with it. I would find more things around my house to put in there and make it weigh more, but the fact that this holds 55 pounds with no issues and I myself can't really hold 55 pounds with no issues. I don't see this ever being a problem if I'm out in public and this is the only bag I have. I'm not gonna get 70 pounds worth of stuff because my arms will fall off. All right, let me try again. I really thought this would break. I don't think I've been this surprised to see a product do what it was advertised to do since I poured Gatorade all over that shirt. Lucky for me, I have another tiny bag here. Um, this one holds the cozy bag. Now, usually you would hope and even expect that a device like this would come with written instructions, but these two items were literally the only things in the box. Guess I'll just figure it out on my own. First thing I noticed is, somewhat of a troubling aroma emanating from this thing, um, which is fine, you know, I only have to put it on my face. I wasn't sure if the inside would have um, actual earbuds that like hook into your ear. Looks like little speakers kind of hidden beneath the band. Oh cool, you could have like the wire stick out if you want. Uh, maybe that I could hook onto my ear, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So far so good. Kind of seems like they don't get close enough to my ears. I guess if I was laying down, it would work. Obviously, the only thing I can do is try it out. I'm gonna sleep with this for a couple nights and I will let you know. Nighty night. Okay, well, it's been a couple days now and uh, you can definitely notice the cheapness here. The sound quality is not great. It kind of seems like they just shoved two speakers into a sweatband. Uh, probably because that's what they did. If you were hoping to wash this in some capacity, you have to painstakingly remove the electronics from the cozy band and then put them back in exactly where they were, which is an extremely tedious process. This one single sentence on their website did not prepare me for how difficult it would be. It's certainly more comfortable than wearing regular headphones, although the speakers fit so loosely that they end up kind of sliding around and ending up in places they're not supposed to. So the solution for that is to make it louder, but the sound kind of bleeds out and then I can't fully relax because now I'm worried I'm gonna wake Amanda up with the Law Dispute song that came up on Shuffle. I will say it fits really well for me specifically. So hopefully you and I have the same sized head, otherwise, you're out of luck because there's no way to adjust the size. That's why a lot of the negative reviews are either too tight or too big. For $40, you can't expect some super high-end device. So I will say that it's not terrible and it could be worse. So we here over at the Drew Gooden channel officially give the Cozy Band a three out of five. Unfortunately, I didn't get a lick of sleep after this because even though I was up all night configuring my new tripod, which involved downloading their horribly rated app, when I was finally ready to use it to record the next segment with Amanda, this happened. <laughs> oh no, nobody knows what to do. All right, it's slushy time. How does it feel? 
gold. Yeah. Based on what I saw on this person's Instagram, um, they did an orange juice one, they did a strawberry milk one, famously from earlier in the video. And they also did a Coke one, but I'm more of a Dr. Pepper guy. I'm gonna shake this up before we open it. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Just do it a little bit. Probably good. And then you have to like squeeze it for, the box says several minutes. It's so cold. I guess it's kind of already slushed it up. It doesn't really look that appetizing. So what do you guys think? All right, bottom up. Oh no. It's like slimy. It's so slimy, that's a good word for it. I mean, it looks good. <laughs> Is this what you feed babies? Mm hmm mushy Dr. Pepper. <laughs> it's like chunky, but slimy. Yeah, I don't know why it's so slimy, it's weird. I think I'll do the honors this time. <laughs> This is strawberry milk. It's, it's not quite as pink as the one from the video. This well, looks exactly like a baby bottle. Oh my God. <laughs> this looks wrong. I promise you this is what we're supposed to do. This one took significantly longer to freeze. So in the meantime, I'm going to read to you some of my favorite phrases from the box. As far as I can tell, the text on here went through one single pass of Google Translate. Frozen magic squeeze cup slushifies your drink in minutes. It's that say. No mess, no. No fuss. Put on the lid and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Use frozen magic squeeze cup over and over again. The fun never ends. So is the point of this product to make drinks out of it or is the point just that it's a fun toy? It's BPA free, it's non-toxic, it's easy make, it's no mess, no fuss. Attention, because of various brand models of refrigerator freezer temperature adjustment by different, sometimes need to put more time will be frozen. This is a normal phenomenon. This one I'm the most excited about. The orange juice, I don't really give a shit. I only bought it because they did it in the, on the Instagram. Mm. Mm, it's like eating... It's like eating strawberry, strawberry milk? Yeah. This one tastes good. This tastes like a strawberry milkshake that's been melted a little bit. Mm -hmm. I would do this again. That's pretty good. Honestly, the diet, the don't, just don't do a soda. It's <laughs> just not, I don't think it's made for a soda. But this is pretty good. Lactose intolerant. You'll be fine though. This is just whole milk. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. You got a little something. Huh? <laughs> right over here. You got it. Got milk. <laughs> well, I had to wait for this thing to get cold again, but I've made myself some orange juice slushy to drink while I garjacked. Uh, that was a weird sentence. Oh my God. It tastes just like orange juice, but a little bit colder. So anyway, um, I tried using this thing once already and it kind of worked. Um, as you can attempt to see in this extremely blurry footage, the peel doesn't exactly slide off in one swift movement as was advertised. If you leave it on like they said you could, it gets ripped up into little pieces and hitchhikes a ride into whatever food you're making. It's kind of like how if you had an egg and you tried to shove it through a cheese grater, the shell isn't gonna just magically disappear. It's coming too. But you know, that one uh, major bit of false advertising aside, it works pretty well once the garlic is peeled. See, that's the part I was hoping to not have to do. It's a shame that you still have to like touch it if you don't want to waste all the garlic that's still stuck to the thing. But then of course your fingers get all sticky, which is the other thing I was hoping to not have to do anymore. We're kind of 0 for 2 on the two things I was looking most forward to. Is this better than having to dice up the garlic myself? Absolutely. Am I glad I bought it? Absolutely. But am I, you know, a little disappointed that I can't just do everything in one foul swoop? Yeah. I'm gonna have to do like three or four foul swoops. And that's too many foul swoops. Anyway, it looks like I have a frozen treat and a pile of minced garlic here. And there's two of us. So I'm gonna let you choose which one you want the, yeah, I thought you'd want the orange juice. No, that's fine. Yeah, you can have that. Um, I'll just grab, I guess a fork for this. Uh, no, 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 I, you made up your mind. You can have the orange juice. No, you can have the orange juice, all right? It's, you can't take it back now because you feel bad about what you've made me done. What you've, what you did, what you do, what you make, what you have to, what I have to do. All right, I think that's enough out of that guy. Thank you all so much for watching episode 700 of Instagram by Try. Uh, we did it all today. We buyed, we tried, and 
I think we all cried. I do want to give you guys a big thank you before I get out of here. I launched some new merch a few weeks ago. I didn't even promote it in a YouTube video. I just talked about it on Twitter and Instagram. And then we sold out like super fast. These are some of my favorite designs ever and I'm so thankful for all the support on that and I'm glad you guys like them as much as I do. Now, I don't wanna spoil the next episode too much, uh, but I will say we're gonna have a very special guest, Brendan Fraser from the movie Mummy. How did that get there? Like I was saying, uh, Brendan and I met years ago on the set of George of the Jungle. It's actually a funny story. He was swinging on one tree, I was swinging on another, and we ran. Oh my God, it really does follow you everywhere. I gotta get out of here. I immediately flew as far away as I possibly could, California. And for a couple days, everything felt normal again. I hung out with my friends. I was having a great time until yesterday. Leave me alone! Can't you see I'm trying to promote today's sponsor, HelloFresh. I'm 28 years old, and I like to think that I'm pretty good at cooking, but I used to not be. I used to get really easily overwhelmed by the idea of prepping and cooking food, and so I often wouldn't. And honestly, I think I owe 90% of the confidence I have now in the kitchen to the four plus years of me using HelloFresh. When all of the guesswork is taken out of the equation, when you don't have to know a recipe off the top of your head, or go to the store to get all the crap that you need, or skip past 37 paragraphs of someone explaining to you why spaghetti holds a special place in their heart. It just makes the process so much easier. It's like training wheels, but for sauteing. One of my favorite things about HelloFresh is their flexibility and the variety of recipes to choose from every week, which you can easily manage on the app. Skip a week if you're gonna be out of town. Add some shrimp to your meal just cause you feel like it. Maybe you're feeling adventurous and you wanna try out some cheese stuffed burgers, or maybe you just wanna get the same meal twice because it's your favorite and it's easy to make. That's fine. This is a safe space for people like us. You will never get bored with HelloFresh because they're constantly cycling in seasonal meals to keep things exciting. Like I said, I've been using it for over four years now and there are still recipes that pop up all the time that I've never seen before. And since everything is portioned to the exact amount that you need, I find myself wasting significantly less food than when I go to the grocery store and forget that I bought all those onions and never used them. Ultimately for me, HelloFresh just makes the entire process of cooking simpler and therefore more enjoyable. I think they're a big reason why I like cooking so much now and why I feel so confident doing it. So if you want to try out HelloFresh for yourself, now is the perfect time because I've got a deal for you. Just go to HelloFresh.com and use my promo code I'm a little stinker 16 for 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Again, my promo code is I'm a little stinker 16. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Okay, that's the whole video now. Um, buy my merch if you want, but you don't have to. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.